Guys, how the hell are you? My name's George, also known as That One Scottish Guy, and today I'm playing another game from my childhood. Another game which I found particularly hard but enjoyable. In fact, so hard that I'm going to put it on to easy because after my shocking, shocking display at Super Thunderblade uh, the other day, I feel yeah, easy is our level, I would say. I'm not as good at video games, or particularly these video games as I used to be when I was little. But, um, so I think uh, for this we'll do a little run on Easy Street, and then I think it's only fair if we do uh, a little run on Hard Way as well. So we'll go, we'll try Easy, and then we'll go with Hard and see. I just remember this game being absolute chaos with dogs and... Uh, all sorts there. Yeah, there's a dog there, actually. And, yeah, I used to smash windows galore. And, um, yeah, I used to I, I used to have a paper run when I was a child, so this game did actually have uh, a bit of special meaning to me. It wasn't like this. Uh, in the UK, or Scotland, where I live, paper boys don't generally ride bikes and launch papers. I know you see it in American movies, um and whatnot, the, the paper boy riding along and throwing the papers into the gardens and whatnot. That doesn't happen here. Uh, paper boys here, uh, they generally, well, I suppose they can cycle if they, they want to, but generally most of us just walked uh, our route and we chapped on the doors and we take the money there and then for the paper, and that's how paper boys worked in uh, Scotland. It might not like that in the rest of the UK? I don't know. It'll be a regional thing, I'm sure. I'm talking a lot about Paper Boys and not about the actual game itself. Uh, I'm taking it a bit slow here, as you can see. Slow and steady win the race. As they say, that's uh, two mailboxes in a row. This is what we're, we're getting there now. A uh, free? What a star I am. I'm already feeling better about this than I did um, Super Thunderblade, which was absolutely awful. I'm not going to be ashamed of that. I couldn't get the burglar there. And I smashed a window. Hoo hey! Basically, the idea is to get right through your route. Uh, I think it actually does a week Monday to Sunday. And you... Any houses that you... Ugh, you've got <laughs> you've got a set amount of customers when you start. And you've got to deliver papers to those customers regardless. Um, if you smash their window, you lose the customers, uh, or if you don't deliver uh, to them. You'll see here, yeah, I lost uh, those ones because I either missed uh, the delivery or I, s I damaged their property. And if you have a perfect run, you also gain uh, subscribers. It's a bit like YouTube. You gain subscribers and you lose subscribers. Speaking of losing subscribers, uh, uh, today... When I'm playing this, it was the great YouTube purge of uh, 2016, and everybody's losing their shit, and I'm just like, um, eh, well, I don't know. We don't exactly know the details behind it now. There's a lot of speculation that it's um, uh, dead, uh, dead inactive accounts and subbots. And uh, a couple of people actually, when I pointed, uh, when I said to them they're speculating that it is uh, subbots, a couple of people took offence and they, they said, wait a minute, I don't use subbots. That's generally not how subbots work. If you are, if your channel is uh, attracting spam, then you're likely to attract subbots as well that um, will sub to your channel and spam your wall with uh, ads and whatnot and all that bad stuff that gets uh, put in my spam folder along with every one of Cyber Houdini's uh, comments. <laughs> I, still have to, I, I still have to approve every one of your comments, my friend. And uh, I know you said last time that there's a little drop-down uh, thing with approve all comments. That's not there. Whether it's just not there for you or it's not there at all, I didn't check with anybody else. Anybody else, because uh, everything else that goes into my spam is spam. It's, it's just you, my friend, and I don't understand why. I'm sure we'll get to the the bottom of it, but you're definitely not spam. You are one of my favourite favourite commenters. Yeah.
So that was a better second day than what uh, it was the first day. I know it's, I've been I've been doing um what's the words up George use your words man you, you speak this language every day of your life and and then when it comes to recording you it just all leaves your head and you forget and now I forgot what I was talking about I do have an absolutely terrible uh, memory by the way um so I do tend to if if you're new to the channel, you maybe notice that I kind of chop and change subjects quite often. I do have an awful memory. Uh, I have narcolepsy as a side effect. I will lose train of thought quite uh, regularly, and then I'll usually get back to my train of thought and I'll start chatting away again, um, as if I hadn't even stopped in the first place. I'm having great difficulty with this road. If you if you hadn't can't tell, I'm just not getting across it at all. But um, I had this game uh, for the Mega Drive, which is what I'm playing it on. Uh, well, I'm not playing it on a Mega Drive, I'm playing it on a Retron. Uh, I used to have this game on the Mega Drive when I was a child. But, every time I went to the arcade uh, when I was young, don't see many arcades about these days, do you? Not many at all. Um, <laughs> well, there I go again, changing the subject. But every time I went to the arcades, I would always play the arcade game with the handlebars. That was amazing. I used to love that. Uh, but but on to the subject of arcades, actually. I stay on the west coast of Scotland, right next to the seaside. And we have a couple of um, seaside kind of towns and resorts where arcades used to be, well, they used to be so popular. The front promenades would just be full of arcades. Not so much any more anymore. Um, there are a few arcades, but most of them are dedicated to gambling machines rather than games. Now, you do still get the occasional uh, gaming arcade machine in the bowling alleys and whatnot around here, but not so much. Um, Jesus, I've only got four customers left. That's not good. Um, but uh, yeah, arcades are definitely a dying breed. Aren't they? And it's sad. I used to, sp I used to go with my pocket money and just pump it into Time Crisis and uh, the Turtles arcade machine. <laughs> it was all the fun. So, well, obviously, Time Crisis came later on, um, but uh, back before then, when I was a little young lad and used to go to the seaside, my arcade favourites were the Turtles and the Simpsons Arcade, as well as Paperboy, and of course Outrun. And not just any Outrun, the full bloody deluxe cabinet with the car, and oh, it was lovely. Um, I was at Play Expo recently, uh, a couple of weeks ago, and they had a lot of uh, arcade machines with them on free play. And if you follow the Play Expo uh, Twitter account, they're always boasting about this Outrun... Um, a deluxe cabinet that they have, but it didn't make it to Glasgow, unfortunately. Uh, it was the first thing I went to look for when I got there, and they didn't have it, but they had so many other games uh, to play. They had the, the Simpsons. They didn't have the Turtles, unfortunately, but they had the Simpsons. Uh, I played the Simpsons with three complete strangers, and we had a great time. And um, we now uh, follow each other on Twitter. See, gaming brings you together, doesn't it? It makes friends. I mean, I've made so many friends through uh, YouTube already. And um, yeah, gaming brings people together. They say that gaming isn't as much of a, a social subject as it used to be. Um, because you used to go around to your friends to play games and used to swap games with your friends, that doesn't so much happen anymore. But gaming still has the... a lot of people can connect over gaming and you can make uh, good friends. Jesus, I've got two customers left and we're on to Friday! So I think I've got two days left and I think the difficulty actually ramps up a bit now because I remember Saturday uh, being particularly difficult when I was a nipper. A nipper, a young lad. I hate those cats. <laughs> I've got a black cat myself. Um, I affectionately call bastard cat, even though I love her dearly. She still gets called bastard cat because she's a bit of a bastard. She interferes with my recording all the time. 
because um, my orifice where I do my recording and where I'm recording now, actually for the first time in ages, I am back in my orifice after it get cleaned out after all the DIY. Jesus, this road. All the DIY we were doing, everything got chucked into my orifice uh, because basically my orifice is in the spare room. Uh, if you're new to the channel, by the way, I call my office my orifice. It's just something I've always done. Back from when I used to be a car salesman, uh, we used to call the 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 salesman's office the orifice, and that's where it stems from. Uh, so don't think I'm weird, and don't think I don't uh, know the difference between an office and an orifice. It's just an affectionate. Jesus, where's all my life's going? It's just an affectionate term. My missus absolutely hates it. It makes her cringe. But yeah, I'm in my orifice for the first time in ages. Uh, but the the cat also shares this room. She sleeps in here. Um, it's just her preferred place to sleep. And so she'll usually interrupt my recording. Or not interrupt, but she'll distract me because I'll be in the room not knowing she's here because she's a sneaky wee bastard. And I'll not know she's in the room and then all of a sudden she'll be jumping and attacking my uh, bloody cables or whatever I've got. Yeah, just doing cat things, bastard cat things. But I love her dearly. And so this is us on a Saturday, I'm on my last life so I can't see me surviving the full weekend because Saturday was particularly busy. Not busy. Uh, difficult. And I've got a resubscriber! Huzzah! I think that's the first of the run, isn't it? Um, I'm not looking forward to seeing how uh, the our little run on uh, hard mode after I've done this will go, but I think it, it must. I can't put a video up of me playing Easy Street. Uh, on Paperboy without doing hard, I don't think, because I would be mocked, and rightly so, these uh, cars here are going to be the death of me, aren't me? I'm, I'm taking it really easy, because as I said, last life and bastard skateboarders, uh, it's going to be this road up here that gets me though, I can already feel it coming, because I've really struggled, did I just go for it? Did I go for it? Yeah! I should have just went for it, shouldn't have? Yeah. Uh paper boy calls it quits. Um so yeah, I think how long is this video? It's only been going on for about uh, 12, 13 minutes so far, I think. So I'll do a little run um on uh hard mode. I this is actually quite difficult to control. I tried to put in T O S G and um I failed. So T N is our name. So let's go, let's do hard, see how we got on. Hard way, your customers, non-customers. I'll have no customers by the end of this. If I can make it to Wednesday, I would consider this uh, very good because... I don't even, is that, was that a garden gnome just kind of sitting there? Look at all this stuff, there's a van there and... And I've just smashed that window. That lawnmower's gonna get me. No, it's not. See, there's stuff lying about in the pavements everywhere and whatnot. If I remember rightly, this road up here, it's no longer cars that go across it. Eh, on Hard Street, I think it, or Hardway, sorry. I think it's motorbikes. Just going for my memory. I've not played this game in years. Most of the games that I'm... Eh, <laughs> Jesus. Most of the games that I'm gonna be doing, um in the next wee while with the retro games are games that specifically meant a lot to me during my childhood and a lot of them I will not have played. Is that a statue or is that- JESUS CHRIST DID YOU SEE THAT? Wow I was not expecting that, I did not remember, yeah there's motorbikes going across the road. Uh, but if you have any recommendations for uh, retro games, go- nope. Oh, I'm better at that road than I am the easy one, but I suppose this is still Monday, isn't it? If you have any recommendations um, for retro games to play, and also indie games, um, I'm still going to be doing indie stuff on the channel, I've just not done it for a while because I've not bought an indie game in a little while because I'm going on holiday um, next week, uh, or this week coming actually, and... 
I've, I've been watching my pennies as everyone does before they go on holiday. Uh, so yeah, but I will be doing uh, indie stuff. So recommendations for retro and indie. Um, Edge of Heaven actually recommended a indie game to me called it was something about robots. I can't remember what it was now, but I'll I'll, I'll look at her tweet and I'll I'll de <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, I'll definitely check out the uh, the game she recommended to me and. If it is affordable, after my holiday, I'll get a video, uh, I'll start doing videos on uh, indie games uh, very soon, because I do like looking at my indie games, so I do. I mean, you, you discover so many hidden gems looking at indies, and I, they're, I'm a big fan of indie games, I always have been, um, but I'm kind of... I'm kinda out the loop just now, like, um, like last year and whatnot. I could have told you about all. Jesus, I hate those things. I could have told you about all the indie games coming up, or like all the kind of of the genres I like, like the uh, RPGs and strategy games and uh, Metroidvanias and whatnot. And now I'm just so far out the loop. Uh, so I, I do kind of rely on recommendations and word of mouth uh, to find the uh, the indie games that I feature on the channel. If you're an indie dev and you want me to have a look at your game, send me over a link and I'll certainly check it out. I'm always looking for recommendations no matter where they came from. So I've just, it's dawned on me, I have spent very little time, gee, I, I thought that was a jump, I didn't realise that that was just a thing, I'm dead, aren't I, that's me done. Yeah, <laughs> anyway guys, I spent more time talking about random stuff than I have about the actual game, but I hope you have enjoyed watching me play uh, Paperboy in the background. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, I'd ask you to do two things, first of all, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, and second of all, tell your friends, give the video a share on Twitter or Facebook, it means a lot to me, and it helps the channel grow. Thanks very much for watching, bye bye!